Hi students, in our previous module we already studied the definitions of oxidation, reduction, oxidizing agent, reducing agent and redox reaction. So now let's understand with the help of reactions whether the reaction will be an oxidizing agent or it will be a reducing agent or it is undergoing oxidation or reduction. So to start with a redox reaction term has come from the word red that is reduction and ox that is oxidation and to recollect what is reduction yes reduction is nothing but gain of electron and oxidation is nothing but loss of electron similarly if i say reducing agent are nothing but itself undergo oxidation and help someone reduce and if i say oxidizing agent means it oxidize someone and itself undergo reduction so I hope these terms are very much familiar now to go through the reactions. So here I have an example where I am writing as an oxidation, reduction and finally the redox reaction which involves addition of both oxidation and reduction reaction. A first oxidation reaction is sodium where sodium loses one electron to form cation Na plus 1. Reduction reaction we have chlorine that is one each chlorine atom has tendency to gain one electron forming chlorine anion and since chlorine is diatomic in nature we balance the reaction by adding two electrons so now if i add this both oxidation and reduction reaction we get a redox reaction but students if you can see here the highlighted portion here is two electrons that is chlorine is gaining two electrons whereas sodium is just losing one electron and we have studied that number of electrons lost by the species should be always equal to number of electrons gained by the species. So what we do here is we multiply with the common factor to the above reaction of oxidation. So here we multiply the sodium reaction with 2 so we get a common factor of 2 electron. So now number of electron lost by sodium will be equal to number of electrons gained by chlorine. So when we add this 2 reaction we simply cancel the electrons here for the final reaction and we get Na plus Cl2 giving us Na plus and Cl minus or we can simply write it as Na combined with chlorine to form NaCl. Let us understand again with a second example where we are taking magnesium where magnesium have always tendency to lose two electron to get the octet complete. Similarly, if I am taking oxygen where each oxygen atom has tendency to gain two electrons. So now if I add both oxidation and reduction reaction here, we get a reaction where number of electrons lost here is equal to number of electrons gained. Hence, we do not need to multiply this with a common factor. So when we add these two reactions, we get Mg plus O2 giving us Mg plus 2 and O minus 2. Or simply we can write it as Mg plus O2 giving us MgO. Now students in this slide, can you just notice something? If you see the oxidation parameter here, sodium had no charge and when it loses one electron, it forms NaS plus 1. So the number has gone from 0 to plus 1. Similarly for magnesium, if you see here, magnesium had no charge on it and it was number is 0. Whereas when it loses electron, we get it as Mg plus 2. So the number has gone from 0 to plus 2. That is both for oxidation reactions, number increases, the scale increases whenever it loses electrons. Similarly, if we see for reduction table here, chlorine by gaining electrons, the charge goes from 0 to minus 1. Similarly, if I see it for oxygen, Initially, oxygen had no charge, that was it was 0 and by gaining electron now it is charge of minus 2. That is the number has decreased. So just can we remember directly for the redox reaction as simply as when an element or a species loses electron, the number will always increase. That is when the scale shows higher side, now when the number increases, we can directly say it is undergoing oxidation reaction. Similarly, when the number 
decreases that is when it is coming towards negative side or may not be negative side but from maybe you can say plus 3 to plus 1 or 0 or maybe towards negative side then we say when the number decreases it is a reduction reaction. So now it becomes very much easier to remember that oxidation is a loss of electron where the number will the scale increases and reduction is a gain of electron where the number in the scale decreases. So students let's take an example where you need to identify whether these are an oxidizing agents or reducing agents. So the very first example is zinc combining with chlorine forming Zn plus Cl minus. So here the charges are already given to you where Zn in its elemental form have 0, chlorine first initially is 0, then it forms Zn with plus 2 and Cl with minus 1. Students, zinc if you see from left hand side to right hand side, the number is increasing and when we say number increases, it is nothing but oxidation and oxidation is also termed as reducing agents. Similarly, if you see for chlorine, the number has gone down from 0 to minus 1. That is, the number has reduced and when we say it is reduced, they are undergoing reduction, which is also termed as oxidizing agent. I think it's very much easier for you to understand now. Let's see another example where again you need to understand which is oxidizing agent and which is reducing agent. So again, if you see the numbers written on the elements, Initially, Zn and copper is a number with 0 and Zn, it is forming plus 2 whereas copper is 0. So, zinc is forming from 0 to plus 2 that is it is undergoing oxidation that is it is undergoing as a reducing agent. Whereas if you see copper, the number is coming down from 2 to 0. Hence, we can say it is undergoing reduction acting as an oxidizing agent. So, I think it will be very easy for you to under identify now which one is oxidizing agent and which one is reducing agent in a given reaction. Till then, goodbye.